The Jewels of Miriam Haskell. You guys have been studying. <laughs> There wasn't any jewelry left, but I spent a few minutes Look looking at the clothing. At this. this is painted. Um, I thought it was horses, but now I don't know what it is, but it's an original. Jan's Jam's Carson City. This is really, really cute. It, it reads like a floral. They're bears. They're bears. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try that one. I kind of feel like this is my new favorite thing. That is really cute, and it gives you with a little bit of shoulder. And I just spotted this cute little fluffy handmade. And then you know you just gotta juice it a little. Yes. And that is $3. Awesome, very cute. Someone made it. This is the best, totally hand-painted, original. And I have a feeling the hat was made by the same person because they go so well together and this is also handmade. So uh, not bad. The magic of Nevada City thrifting continues. I am waiting for hospice to open and I just found this in the bin outside it's marked and it's numbered eight out of 250 wandering minstrels and then who knows what that signature is but eight out of 250 is pretty good it came from that bin right there i'm gonna google it real fast this train right here this one yeah Good morning. We had to cancel it. We were short staffed. Uh -huh. That's really gorgeous. I think that's Topaz. We're going to get that one. And then this looks very handmade. But let's see. Oh, this is pretty. How much is this? That could be spinel. Oh, it's a 14 karat clasp. Okay, we'll get that. This little vintage thing. It's not that vintage, actually. Good morning. Oh, John Rivers. Okay, we can pass on that. This. This is very. I think it's called Starlight by Michael Dawkins. I wonder if it's signed. It's just a 925. That is 40. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I mean, sometimes I'm wrong. This is cool. This is really heavy. That is 60. Is this a. We gotta check that for a mark. That could be really good. And then this one has a bracelet attached to it. Someone made it longer with a bracelet. That is 75. And then this one is, okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get both of those. I'm gonna check the mark on this one. Okay. And then I just wanna see this, this tray here. The Jewels of Miriam Haskell. You guys have been studying. <laughs> I wonder where you've been studying. Well, I need a... 200. Hey, hey. Okay, this is a Peror. I thought it was too. I thought it was too. Mm -hmm. There must be another Friday. Yeah. No, we had, we had to, it was supposed to be today, but we had to cancel it because we're pretty short-staffed. Oh, yeah. so. I don't have enough people to, to run both sides. Little shorty. And this one. 
Okay, does this have any damage? Looks like it's a nice length. For 30, we'll get that. And then I'm wondering. Good morning. Okay, I really have to examine this for condition. This could be good. Okay. Also, we've got cat fears. If you want to give uh, John a call okay. and see if I'm going to check the condition on this as well. On Everything looks correct on it. Condition looks good. I have to take a moment to really examine this one. I'm taking the plunge, everybody. Look, Haskell, Pearl, this beautiful slab, and I put the Judith Ripka back um, just because they're out there. You know, she made more than one, but these are all really one of a kind, and I feel very blessed today. So this, I pulled off of this tray. It was, where was it? It was over here, so it was kind of hidden, right? And I just wanted to check this, and it is two pieces, a pin and earrings, and it looks, they're asking 50, it looks like, that's a Scaparelli. So let's have a closer look at that. This might be one for the records, everyone. Very exciting. Yeah. There is a little bit of wear or patina right there. See that? But it is a rare find, and all the stones are there, and it has the earrings. So I'm going to pick that up today. And it's large. You know, Scaparelli, the scale of Scaparelli jewelry is large. So that's thrilling. I didn't get it in the end. I just didn't trust that mark. $50, signed Scaparelli, two pieces. This is Nevada City in Northern California. I think it is actually Nevada County, Nevada City in Nevada County, Northern California. It's a very cute little sort of uh, cowboy town. Um, and the lamps, these street lamps here are actually gas. So if the power goes out, Main Street is still lit and there's a guy can you see him? Hold on. There he is. He's actually maintaining the lamps now. So real gas lamps. They have like a whole Christmas thing here. And I'm going to try and get some footage of that if I can. Spirit House Import Gallery. very uh, sort of specialized, you know, kind of hippie shop. Uh, they're all like that here, actually. Lobos Del Mar, this is more very fun. Pretty dresses, very pretty dresses. I like the, uh, it smells like really good leather right here. So this is like really wonderful leather products. That's it's a pretty purse. 98 that is great 98 is great oh, i love that it's like um that looks like vivian westwood <laughs> but in a hippie version the cut of the uh the way the bias ruffles pretty ponchos let's go to the next one we got the inner sanctum books and antiques it's closed Hey! Oh, pink Christmas tree, the gray goose. From the sublime to the ridiculous. Gotta love that. Okay, so this is a little tourist trap thing. This place I remember, abstract. This is sort of like high-end bougie boutique. See, look, there's like the hand-dyed silk dresses and the woven purse and ooh, tool skirt. That's lovely. I feel like a store like this should have a vintage jewelry section, but they never do. Treasure trove. Let's see what that is. Okay, so right behind it is La Cache. 
estate jewelry and new jewelry and antiques. So we'll look at that first. Since it's jewelry. Okay, those are amazing. That's some super high-end moonstone right there. That reminds me of the ring that I saw at the Met for 5,000. Oh. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Okay, so this is all, this looks new actually. That's estate. This is all estate. Look at the Petrodora, the flowers, beautiful. collection of Victorian onyx and then this window little selection of estate jewelry rings that's a tanzanite a trillion that was a big design oh look at that that's platinum probably uh, beautiful diamonds in here nice opal bracelet oh that's gorgeous that opal pendant oh, it's not a pendant it's a necklace on a chain really pretty and now we've got the treasure trove antiques collectibles art dogs welcome i had a sign like that once uh, I think they're not here. Yes, they are not here. It's like a fun store. So I'm gonna head over to Java John's and see if I can get a fancy latte, something like that. Campfire latte, almond joy, pumpkin, chocolate chai, tre leches. Oh God, it's all so sugary. All right, let's get in there and get caffeinated. So directly across the street is Utopian Stone. This is a custom jewelers. They started in 1974. You see them there? They are pretty famous. They specialize in custom work. I think it's inlaid, I want to say opals or agates. I can't remember. I'm hoping that what I picked up in the thrift store the other day looks like this. You can actually see the jeweler's workbench. Let's see if I can. How cool is that? This is around the corner. So everything is made here. And we're going to go in and have a look. We're going to go back around the corner. Yeah, opals. I thought that's what they were famous for. Ooh, look at the opal in the in the stone. This is Jack. Jack. Jack, jump on, Jack. Jack, jump on. He's like, no, I don't want to. Hello, Jack. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe if I just leave it there. You're lovely, Jack. I made the mistake of putting him on people when he was a baby baby. Oh, that's no mistake. That's wonderful. He's well socialized. Well, I did that, but the problem was is that he they, wanted to decide where he goes. They also have two blind dogs, everybody. These people are wonderful. Oh, here he is. Oh, here he is. <laughs> Tell me your most favorite thing. Um. There he is. <laughs> that's There's Jack. Jack. There's Jack. Oh, there's a real fun piece I did. This is beautiful. And this is you at the bench. Yep. Oh, it feels really nice. And the back is fun also. You can see it both ways. Is that a tanzanite? 
What is that? Uh, sapphire. Sapphire. That's a gorgeous sapphire. And large. Yeah, this is magnificent. This is one of a kind, special, special boutique. You can only get it here. Thank you so much for showing it to me. You're welcome. Another fun piece. Oh yeah. Oh, and then you like the pattern in the stone. You you work you design around that. Also. Yeah, so we cut the stones, and each one is different. So you never know what you're going to end up with. This is amazing. Look at that. So tell us what happened with Jack. You, he's a rescue? He's a rescue. Fell off the uh, building next door, and my mm -hmm. wife uh, hand-fed him. And uh, so, yeah, this is Jack the Sparrow, and <laughs> now he's part of the family. <laughs> and here are the, uh, the little doggies. Both of these dogs are blind. So um, let me get a shot of the card here. If you have any questions or if you want anything made, this is, uh, this is the uh, Patrick and uh, Mayor. There's the number. Okay, this is my speed. Look. And everything here is one of a kind, you know? It's like... The idea with vintage or estate jewelry is that it becomes one of a kind. You can't find it anywhere else. And that's also with artisan jewelry. Look at that. The way that's carved. And that, that might be meteorite also. They do a lot of meteorite here. Meteorite. Beautiful shop too. Beautiful shop. And then there's the crystal, not in the glare. Hello. Oh, these are lovely. It's such a gorgeous day. I think this is a bird bath for 69. Beautiful. Some glass ornaments. This is the dipped real leaves they've been making since the 70s. I do find them in vintage on occasion. Uh, we don't know how much they're selling for here, uh, but you can see, still very desirable. And also dipped uh, pine needles. Swarovski. Swarovski crystals. Yes. And then this is definitely top shelf here. This is really art. Look at the fish.
is the Yuba River in Nevada County, California. I wanted to take you here now because the light is so perfect. We have the magic hour. You can still see the river rushing and the rocks and the moon. It's a beautiful night in Northern California. Thank you for a wonderful year, everyone. Have a very merry, merry Christmas, and I will see you again before the new year. I love all the holes that the river carved out of the rock.